Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. We are stood by our John Deere and you'll see bottom right hand corner 94% damage um, again. Um, so first job of the day is to get it repaired unfortunately we are going to need it today. There we go. Oof, makes me cry. So today's tasks are we have got a cultivating contract running in build 8. We have taken a canola harvest contract in field 14, but we'll get to that later. We are going to spread manure on field 39 and possibly start some ploughing in 45, maybe next episode. I want to get 39 fertilised at least once um, and we are going to get canola in there. We are then going to put oats into 45 I think when the planting window opens and I'm undecided about 36. So let's crack on and uh, get the manure spreading started. EPS course set and we are Working our way up the middle of the field near enough to start with. I've uh, just double checked and yes, it is working. You can't actually really see where we've been, so good job we've got uh, GPS to help us out there. Now there's about 50, nearly 60,000 litres of manure in the, uh, or on the pitch, should I say, on the manure plate. Um, hopefully that's enough. Um, failing that we could always buy a bit from uh, the animal dealer but either way we will get this uh, first level of fertilizer applied on this field so I've uh, just left the John Deere refilling uh, with manure I thought I'd uh, come and take a look at how the work is doing in field 8 so we've got a lovely Deutz and it's yeah it's not taking long at all shouldn't be uh, too much longer before we can complete on that contract I don't think there's any more no there's no more cultivating ones unfortunately be good to have uh, used the kit on another one as well but never mind so we'll get just probably under three grand for that one once we take the lease fees off and we've got the one in uh, field 14 for canola as well, as I mentioned earlier. So let's uh, jump back to the John Deere and uh, carry on with the fertilising. So the right hand side of the field is done. Done a headland at the top. And now we're just uh, making our way back down the field. Um, manure's going down reasonably quickly. Um, I think we've probably got maybe just under another spreader's load at uh, back at the farm so we may be taking a trip to the animal dealer but uh, we'll see it uh, shouldn't cost us too much the contract has popped up complete for the cultivating so what we will do is we'll just grab that cash now so 2,940, lovely, every little bit helps. And then uh, we've got the harvesting to do in a bit once this uh, haze has gone, I reckon. So let's uh, GPS off, get turned around. Now the headlands aren't uh, the most efficient for spreading, so uh, probably end up using a bit more than we wanted. But uh, knees must and all that. So let's see how far we get on this last 3,000 litres. So back in the field with hopefully the last load. We uh, didn't get too far up this pass. But uh, yeah, there was more in the heap than I thought actually. Um, so there's another 5,000 litres uh, left for us to uh, start using so let's get some cruise control set and 
Just make sure. Yeah, we haven't missed anything. That's good. Oh, and relax. So I reckon we'll have enough. We won't have to spend any money elsewhere, which is uh, all good. So, yes, canola in here, cash crop. Um, we're going to need the odd boost of money every now and again. That's uh, going to help us out. I think uh, the oats as well will uh, give us what we need then for a grain mix, potentially. So, yeah, we're in good stead. Still no milk from the Holsteins. Um, I'm guessing either September or October, hopefully. Um, and then, as well, the beef cattle will be, hopefully, near their best price. And we can get them sold and uh, start that cycle of maybe rearing the calves as well and then... Yeah, slowly increase the herd. So we'll head back down to the field entrance and uh, we'll check what sort of a job we've done. A quick look at uh, the mini map. And uh, yeah, missed a bit up here. And there's a couple of little spots down here, but not too worried about those. We should have enough left and we can maybe try and get them. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, grab this bit and then we will head back to the farm. So we're all filled up with seed. I've uh, emptied out fertilizer. Um, we can do that with our spreader. There's 3,000 something liters in there. So uh, once we've got the crop in the ground, we can then uh, come through with the spreader and uh, yeah, get the second application of fertilizer on that way. So, what we need to do is find ourselves a GPS line, lower the uh, working width down, and we'll uh, get started. We are making steady progress. Seed usage, seed usage is good. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Um, I was just looking at... Uh, the weather forecast to see um, an appropriate time to maybe start the uh, harvest contract. So, you know, reasonable temperatures for August. <laughs> and then you look how it's going into into October. 39 degrees. Hmm. Um, not quite sure that that is accurate for the UK. We'll have to uh, see how that progresses over time. But yeah, I think... Um, as soon as we have got this done, uh, we can crack on with the canola harvest. Um, shouldn't take us too long. We're progressing at a reasonable pace. And like I said, the seed usage is uh, very, very good. So we should have plenty to complete the field. <laughs> bit of the headland now and uh, 
we well, nearly ten past eight, so not bad going really. Um, obviously, we can't roll this. We haven't got a roller. Um, I'm not sure whether we will ever get one. Really, I'm not um, too worried about it. Really, on the uh, on this save. Um, would be nice to get the extra yield, but uh, yeah, the funds don't quite allow it at the minute. Now, the cedar does need a repair. Um, and we also could do with paying maybe another five grand off the loan. Um, so yeah, it's always, always money. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll hang on, we'll complete the uh, canola contract and then we'll see how we're doing for funds as to uh, what we do first. So for now, we can leave the cedar and the tractor there. Let's just take a look at what sort of a job we've done. Not bad at all. The other thing I wanted to have a quick look at was the cows. So yeah, they're all good. I only fed them this morning in game so yeah you'll see 3250 pounds per cow for the angus at the minute uh, same for the limousine obviously these uh, ones here are a little bit younger and uh, we're approaching having calves um, for all the animals actually really um, but yeah soon hopefully this milk gauge will start to fill up and uh, that's when we'll start getting a bit of extra income, hopefully. Um, right, so we can leave that there for now. And uh, we'll head up and start the canola harvest. So we've got a lovely John Deere X9 harvester. You'll see the truck and trailer parked up there at the wait point. And I'm missing a bit. That's not good, is it? Down in the distance there, we have got a New Holland with, I think it's a Bergman or Gerwagen. Um, so that's got a loop and it'll wait there and then uh, it'll empty into the truck. It's not a massive field. Um, I haven't looked at the contract details to see how much um, has got to be delivered. In fact, let's just pop on cruise control, jump into the contract to have a look. So, 64,000 litres of canola to be delivered. So, I think two headlands will be absolutely plenty. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch up uh, at the first unload, I think. Though, so just starting the second headland and got the auger out and you can see maybe just down in the distance the uh, new holland is making its way to us so i'm going to be careful not to uh, start driving through the crops there we go so we're full so we'll just hang on and uh, wait for the unload and uh, then we can crack on auto drive working brilliantly then Fantastic job, I think, because uh, we were sat nice and still, it didn't have too much to think about. So uh, we'll get unloaded, I will do the finish the second headland, and then I'll see you when we start cutting into the field. Well, we're just riding along with the worker in the New Holland, just to check that uh, the auto drive course and the unload works as expected. There we go. Probably maybe do with dragging it forward a bit, but it's working, so happy with that. Um, I've unloaded the combine um, just before we start the cutting, as we were around 70% full. So we will get back to find an appropriate place to cut in and uh, carry on with this harvest. <laughs>
nicely done there by the New Holland and the Bergman Orga wagon. Didn't have to wait too long at all after we'd uh, stuck the beacons on and got the lights out. Stay there. Why are you moving? I was just singing your praises, man. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. We'll uh, we'll crack on and we'll do a little bit more. So after this, I think uh, we may get hopefully get the cultivating contract on this field. Um, hopefully that'll appear. If it does, we'll grab it. Um, the other thing that uh, let's have a qu let's have a quick look just to discuss. There are so many bailing contracts. I mean, there's what, 20, 40, 55, uh, 60, 70, 90. There's over 120 odd thousand pounds where I sat there. Um, what do you think? Do I do them off screen? Because we've all seen enough mowing. Um, or would you just like to see the highlights? Um, I think sell all the bales and deduct the money that comes from them, maybe. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do them off screen, don't show anything, um, or do them and just show maybe collecting them and deducting the money for the bales. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments box. So we're nearly up to the end of this pass. Um, like I said previously, it's not a massive field. Um, don't think we're going to get a fat lot off it for ourselves, but uh, anything will help the uh, finances at the minute. So, yeah, we'll take what we can get, and uh, yeah, I'll see you when we're done this corner. So, just emptied the combine, and we are now cutting in to this last block of canola. Um, so, today is Saturday. I have to think about that one then. Um, so I'd started this recording yesterday, so Friday, obviously. Um, and then yesterday afternoon went for a afternoon tea. So uh, yeah, some rather nice sandwiches and cake. Um, and I had a pint of lager called Camden Hells, I think it is. Hells. So anyway, come to pay for it at the end of the tea, and the waiter asks, um, just to confirm what drink I'd had. And I went to say Calmston, and at that point I realised that I've got a problem and may have FS22 on the brain. Um, might have been one of those that you had to be there sort of things, but yeah. I found it funny, and I thought, hmm, yeah, maybe... Uh, thinking about farming simulator a little bit too much so having unloaded probably a bit early maybe but um we filled up the auger wagon that is now looping back round and we'll go and unload into the truck which i think then should depart off to pretty sure it's the old water mill it is um so that should go and deliver um, the canola for us, or the OSR, depending on uh, what you want to call it. So we've got one pass left to do. So we're going to spun round and uh, lined up a little bit better than that. There we go. Turn on GPS, header lowered down, and we'll get the field finished. Um, like I said before, not sure how much we're going to get. We've got to deliver 60-something thousand litres. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But, um, yeah, anything is going to be a great help to us at the moment. Sitting, <coughs> excuse me, at uh, around £15,500. So, yeah, we're going to have to uh, put some effort in, make some money somehow, and, uh, yeah, build that bank balance. So the lorry's heading off, which is a good sign. Shows that I've linked the course properly, so we can get finished here. We'll uh, unload into the I guess, chaser bin, auger wagon, whatever you want to call it, I suppose. Um, and then we'll see 
how much the uh, lorry load goes towards completing what we've got to deliver for the contract. So very, very nearly done. I do like harvesting, especially with a fantastic X9 combine that we've got here. Cracking bits of kit. Not sure we'll ever get to own one <laughs> on this series unless uh, yeah unless the milk production is uh, phenomenally good which you know using maize plus hopefully it will be so we'll get round here we will uh, probably jump into the New Holland and turn off auto drive for now so it doesn't try and uh, come and find us when we put the auger out and uh, we'll go and check on the lorry and how that's doing so we're riding along with auto drive now I don't think I've ever been down here with a lorry I honestly cannot remember um, so it'll be interesting to see oh there we go 59,000 just over litres going to go in We'll see, I think it's going to leave us about 5,000 litres to deliver, which is fine. 89% transported. So that should head back to the field where we can unload the chaser bin. So let's get this OSR into the truck. And uh, luckily the old water mill is giving the best price currently so we can turn the engine off on that get into the truck bring up the auto drive menu and we'll just send that off to the water mill and uh, I'll see you when it arrives right then we're here and uh, we're gonna start making a bit of cash there we go seven grand lovely so we can now bring back up the auto drive course and say thanks very much we'll park you there we'll hop out and grab that money there we go another eight thousand so we're back up to 31k first things first into the money page and we will repay the five grand off of the loan now i want to start preparing for our winter project so uh, i'll see you back at the main farm so we are in the area next to the main farm and uh, behind the two houses that uh, we actually own so this land is ours he says let's just double check that i'm pretty sure it is farmland cool so um what i'm thinking is obviously there's two houses here so we'll fence along that way probably up to around that tree so i think that tree needs to come down we'll then come all the way along and then back down to the corner here um might put a dividing fence in um and then we'll not landscape this but maybe put a few pots in barbecue maybe etc etc the rest of the area then i'm thinking about um maybe another greenhouse um not quite sure on the layout just yet uh, maybe some sheep further back and have it as a i think um i think it was peter said uh, about sort of a market garden type area so first job i reckon is to take out this tree this tree and maybe get rid of this one here as well so uh let's get the chainsaw out and uh get cut in first one kind of down we'll uh get rid of the stump using uh the lumberjack mod tidy that up for us what about this bit here come on in fact we could leave that as a marker 
for uh, when we come to put the fence in. So get the chainsaw back out again and just walk up the tree, delimbing it. Not the best at forestry, but uh, I think this is meant to be the way, best way to do it. Look at me, I'm in a tree. And then let's find said tree and uh, cut it into some slightly more manageable lengths. There we go. No idea how long these bits are. There we go. That's one down. Let's take this one next, and that one can probably fall the other way, I think. So rotate the chainsaw. Find the marker. He says. There we go. Perfect. Nice, nice spruce. And then uh, chainsaw back again and delete the stump. Cool. Right, I'll get this one delimbed and cut up, and uh, then we'll see about maybe trying to shift the logs. Well, it's um, it's not going to win any awards, but uh, it's working. Um, so using the, I think this is either a silage fork or a manure grapple, I think. Oh, that was more luck than judgment. I think it's, uh, in fact, let's just have a look what it is. Let's have a look. And it is a fork with a grapple. So, yeah, anything really. I think it's more food-based things rather than uh, poop. Oh, no, there is uh, manure as well. So, but, uh, yeah, also doubles up as a uh, log fork with grapple. So, ah. <laughs> I thought I was pushing it. I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going to strap that down. And we're going to uh, try again. Last log. And uh, oh, I don't very often uh, blow iron trumpet, but that isn't bad, I don't think. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's not award winning. Um, but... Uh, It'll certainly do for what we want. A couple more straps on. I did have to lop the end off this one here. That was uh, a little bit long. But, uh, yeah, that's not... Oh, we may have strapped ourselves to the uh, log trailer. Is it that one? There we go. I think that's freed it. Oh, you are kidding. <laughs> Come on. Get off. So, yeah, there's me saying, yeah, I don't have to blow my own tra uh, trumpet, but uh, I have strapped a loader. There we go. To the trailer. Right. Engine off in the John Deere. You are kidding. What have I strapped it to now? <laughs> oh, dear. I'll tell you what's going to be easiest here is that and pull forward and strap them on again it's never grabbed the trailer again the tractor even you're not kidding me right we're free so let's uh, head up to the sawmill and get these logs sold so we're we're just up at um, what I guess you'd now call the productions area and uh, I remember this sign from uh, 19 so yeah workshop labor rates Monday to Saturday 40 pound an hour exceptions if you watch 60 pounds an hour if you offer advice 70 pounds an hour if you help 80 pounds an hour if your mate had a go first 90 pounds an hour and then this one really gets me if you saw it on the internet and thought it looked easy 100 pounds an hour if you walk through the workshop two pounds each way now what would be cool is if we did walk through and somehow it charged us uh, a couple of quid. But uh, yeah, handy little uh, workshop. So, right, back to the tractor. 
I have put on uh, the interactive markers as you will see so if we get this backed up into the trigger here and then that should do it there we go turn the engine off and we'll hop out and try and get to here we go so let's have a look what we got for that four thousand eight hundred pounds well that's nearly covered the loan payment to be fair so get back in and uh, what we might do is back up and get out of here um i've taken um the cultivating contract for field 14 so i think what we'll do is uh, we'll send this back to the farm and uh, I think I've come the wrong way I have indeed oh. <laughs> well I might go and play on the slide um, but yeah I'll send this back to the main farm and I'll see you when we get to the cultivating oh this farmer clearly has a bit of a thing for John Deere equipment we've got a uh, fantastic looking 9RX with the big compactor mat should know I've uh, just purchased one of these on Carmsden so yeah we're plodding along so yeah we're doing this contract for uh, Jean Cuvier or George if uh, if you know you know um, so yeah 10 grand minus the leasing fee so what was that going to be what's it going to give us does it tell us no okay can't imagine it being a fat lot let's not uh, drive his tractor too hard into the uh, into the fence so yeah it's not going to take us long decent working width and uh, yeah we'll plod on and I'll see you in a little bit just finishing off the headland now and it's such a gloomy day it's uh, just looking out the window it matches here actually i know we're into december now oh my word um yeah it's a proper overcast day both in game and in real life now we didn't miss anything down this bit did we it was further down the field that we uh were slightly off due to the gps course but uh no problem we will catch it now um, I think once we've done this, we'll obviously collect on the money and uh, we'll go and pop up the cow's feed. I think there's some TMR already in the feeding wagon, so that's good. Um, and then I think it's going to be a case of advancing time before the next episode. Um, just because we've kind of done everything that we need to do um we're in a fantastic position feed wise um money is looking up um i look forward to hearing what your thoughts are on the uh, grass work contracts um so yeah i think uh, we'll get this bit finished off and uh, we'll catch up when we collect the cash so uh, just down at the main farm and the contract is all finished so we can collect another eight and a half grand lovely let's just see if there's anything new do they want field 14 planting yet maybe not let's just have a quick look at the uh, there we go so no nothing yet might be a little bit late now unless they're uh, unless they're after canola or poplars which i don't think they will be so maybe next month there might be a wheat or a barley seeding contract but for now that's uh, hello mr cow and uh, mr cow that's not the right word is it there we go um right so let's get that filled up how much exactly do they need a fair bit so reproduction's good health's good 
a straw's fine. A slurry is at a manageable level at the moment. So let's get this all topped up and uh, we can say farewell for the episode. Done quite a bit today. Very productive. Um, money's looking a tiny bit better. And uh, can't grumble at that really. Um, looking forward to uh, the sort of the winter project over there and uh, making a start on that. Funds obviously permitting, but hopefully by then we'll have uh, a decent amount of cash around us to uh, yeah fund those works. But I think for now I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching. If you've got this far, leave a like. And if you've not subscribed, please do. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.